hello everybody it's uh, Supping Andy here and I'm uh, just watching the bloody cyclists this UF2 because they're all over the bloody place yeah just uh, coming out of Itchies at the moment just had to nip up the town to do a little errand uh, what a shithole but there you go so <laughs> I'm glad I'm out of there I try not to go up there very often, but uh, when I have to, you just have to. So, coming out now, today. I couldn't make a vlog at the weekend because uh, I had commitments. So, I thought, well, do you know, I'm going to make a vlog today. Yes, today. You know, you never know if they're going to come out or not, do you? It's like a bloody... Oh, God almighty. <laughs> the joys of being on a motorbike, you never know when somebody's going to try and kill you. <laughs> uh, we still do it though, don't we? <laughs> yep, here we go, Woodbridge. Always go around this place, never go through it. So, like I said, it's been a long while since I brought you here. We'll have a look at uh, the quayside and just come into my head there's a Victorian sort of cemetery here that I've never been to so I might have a little look at that on the way out if I can find it <laughs> it's all about finding today there you go that's the uh, quayside Looks like the tide's come up or going down, I'm not really sure. That's looking down the river. If you took a walk from here, you could get yourself to Old Felix though. Down where the old abandoned place was, which I filmed a few weeks back. On that way down there. But what a lovely sight, eh? Beautiful place. A lot of people are baked today. Like I say, the kids are still off school for another few days. And then you've got your railway line. The old station. Look at that, eh? The good old days. The old rail. Look at that, eh? And that way I think you go up to Lowestoft. The old railway. This is quite a nice place. A lot of people come here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a white building where my finger is trying to point at. That's an ex, um, historic mill, open to the public, public, get me teeth in, I'm running them in for my dog, you see. That's an old mill. Lovely old places along here. A lot of people live on these boats. Very nice. Right, we'll get back to the bike. Now I've got a feeling it's up here. You know, we get across with all the bloody cars. Ha 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 I might be in the right place as they say. Right, we're now entering. Let's have a look. Let's have a look a little, little bit round. Oh, I think these uh, little angel things are pretty neat. Look at that, eh?
a little 10 year old can't actually get the name but it's a little 10 year old right let's follow the path round and see where it takes us look at that little place now you might feel hear a little bit of squeaking that is my uh, leather jacket And of course, when you want to record, there's always somebody banging away on a tractor over there, trying to mend it for the chapel. In love and memory of Walter Adams, who died the 10th of October, 1911, aged 57 years. Thy will be done. Also his two sons, Ernest, George, killed in action, 3rd of July 1916, aged 24. And Alfred, Walter, killed at Ye Ye Yeeps, 3rd of July 1916, aged 26. My God. Mind you saying that, he died in 1911, so he didn't have to see his two sons buried, did he? Still not good, is it? Look down here, hey, what a place. If I'd have known today, I would have brought a, a torch with me so I could read some of these better. Like I say, I have never been here myself. Some of them are so hard to read, you need a torch. Where should we go? Should we go downhill? Goes up there as well. Fell off. What a place. Now I don't know why, because I'm coming into this area. It feels a bit more spooky here. It really does. Well, there's another chapel up there as well. So they've got two chapels here. Oh, here's some graves from the war. Suffolk Regiment, 1914, 29 years old. F. W. Smith, Royal Horse Artillery, 2nd December 1914, aged 19. P. Last, Royal Army Service Corps, 21st October. 1914, age 30. Thanks for your service, boys. You've done us proud. Catherine Jane Hillen, widow of Robert Hill, Esquire Helen of Woodbridge who died 1908 age 73 rest peace a uh, perfect peace Arthur Fisk died the 23rd of October 1908 age 43 this end was peace All, also his wife Alice beloved wife who passed away the 28th of December I think 1955 aged 93 she had a good old life old Sheldrake second Royal Service Corps 22nd October 1919 age 31 another one here private F. Hill, Suffolk Regiment, 
20th of April 1919, age 37. Fought the good fight. Yes, I really should have brought a torch with me if I knew I was coming here. Catherine, Mary, Murray, Edward, died October. Oh, well, Catherine, infant daughter, Nathan and Mark, Kersey, Walker. He died the 25th, can't read there, 1856, aged six weeks. That's sad, isn't it? And Murray Edward, who died October the 8th, 1869, aged 10 months. And Lewis, who died 1862, aged eight months. Morris. Leopold, who died September 1863, six months, and Minnie, who died October 1866, aged four months. My God, that's a lot of children. A lot of children. Poor little mites, they never even had a chance, did they? But, mortality in them days with children was very high. There were some awful diseases that we take for granted now. But in them days that would take your children. We should be very grateful. Loving memory of Alfred Samuel Fisk, who passed away 7th of September 1898 in his 71st year Also, Sarah Ann, she passed away in 1912, I think it's 80 or 88, looks like 88 to me. In love and memory of Hannah Ann, the beloved wife of William Hatt. Hat, hat away. The rest is, you can't read it, but it looks like 17 years, but I can't tell without a torch. As you can see, these ones, they're just falling apart. Love and memory of Mara, wife of William Mitson, lodge keepers for this cemetery, who died the 30th of November 1862, aged 58. Also, William Mitson, who died the 29th, 1863, a year later, aged 62. So this guy used to look after this place in its heyday. Fascinating. He looked out of the place and landed up being buried here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope we can make something out of it. Uh, like I said, I keep saying, if I had a torch, I could have read some of these. So I'll leave it at that and it's back to the bike. Right, I hope you enjoyed all that. A uh, little something a bit different, I suppose. Uh, just leaves me to say, all right safe, love each other, something handy!